So sometimes the little things are the big things. And one of those big things I get asked about a lot is cropping. So right now I'm going to show you six tips for cropping inside of Photoshop. And this is going to cover everything from aspect ratio for Instagram, for printing to a particular size, overlays, and so much more. <laughs> Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and today I'm going to answer all your questions to do with cropping with six tips. So why don't we start with the first one and that's cropping for Instagram. So we're just going to hit the crop tool or hit the C key. Now what we want to do for Instagram is we want to go under ratio and then we're going to type in 4 by 5 and that's the aspect ratio you want to be working in in Instagram. Now here's the thing, if I click and drag this can change to horizontal or we can go here and click between horizontal and vertical. You don't want to go horizontal. If you do, your photograph is not going to show very large in the Instagram timeline. If you go vertical, the photo is going to be shown much bigger, even if you're shooting horizontally like I am here. So what you want to do is you want to find that size and then we're just going to go and drag inside our area. Now that we've set it, we're going to choose our composition, which is this area here. Once you have that, just hit the enter key to apply. Now we've got a four by five aspect ratio and we just choose file export. And we can choose safer web. And then under here, just type in a height of 2200 and that will look nice in Instagram. Now the second tip is changing the units of measurement. Seems like a very simple thing, but it's not always obvious. Okay, so if you're cropping here and say you're doing a four by five, by default, it's picking pixels. What if you wanted to make it inches? Well, all you need to do is just type in IN for inches, IN for inches, and that will change it. Same thing for centimeters. You do CM for centimeters, etc., and you can change your unit of measurement that easily. Okay, so tip number three is cropping to an exact size. And what we're looking for is maybe we want to print it eight by 10 inches and we want to crop it to exactly that size without doing any math. So what we do is we go under W and H, which is width and height and resolution. So we want this to be an eight by 10. And by the way, if you hit the tab key, that will also go between them. Now, if you just type eight by 10 here and make sure we put in inches, so we have our inches, 8 by 10 inches, and we're going to flip them around this way. So here's the thing right now, all this is going to do is it's only going to change the aspect ratio. Here's the thing that trips a lot of people over. You must enter some kind of a resolution. So if you're going to go for web, you're going to do 72. If you're doing print, you're going to do 300. Now, if you're doing an Epson printer, you would actually do 360 because it prints better at that size. But typically 300 is that, and notice now, it's going to lock to that aspect ratio. We're going to drag it over that way because this part's not so important. It gives a nicer composition and just hit enter to apply it. And then we look under the image, image size, change this to inches. Notice there's an eight by 10 and this will work every single time. Let's look at the next one. Tip number four, non-destructive cropping. We take it down to you know wherever we want and by default delete crop pixels is going to be turned on and if i hit enter notice this is still a background because now it's changed the image dimension or the canvas size to whatever we crop down to so this is how we change our actual canvas size but let me undo this for a second and we're going to look at another option if we turn off delete crop pixels what it's going to do now is it's going to do non-destructive cropping. Now, notice I can also click and drag this. And just as another little tip, if I hit clear in here, now I can change it to any size I want. See that? So, so I'm going to crop it down to here and I'm going to hit enter. With delete crop pixels off, notice now it shows as a layer rather than a background. Grab the move tool and notice I can now move this around because the whole picture is there it hasn't thrown away any of those crop pixels. Okay, for tip number five, there's two different reasons you'd be cropping. One of them is for a specific size that we've already covered for Instagram printing, things like that. And the second reason is for composition. Now there's a tool here that will help you with your composition when you're cropping. And this is overlays. So when I click on our crop tool, 
and we start to pull it down, notice we see the rule of thirds. Now the whole thing about the rule of thirds is that we put important things on those thirds, such as the horizon makes for a more pleasing crop, and also where these lines, these third lines overlap, such as here, which is important parts of detail, because the eye is drawn more to these areas than it is into the center. Now we can change the way this overlay appears by hitting the O key. And now we can change it to something like a grid. Well, the grid's useful for things like straightening. If I look at this, notice it's a little bit crooked. And let me give you a bonus tip right now. I can straighten by clicking this straighten tool here and dragging within the crop window. And so you can straighten images right inside of there. Let's hit the O key again. Now we get diagonal. So this is the golden ratio which is actually a little bit more accurate than the rule of thirds. It brings things in a little bit more to the center, which is a little bit more what we would actually use. And then if we hit it again, we get the golden ratio. The golden ratio is great because what it does is it shows where the eye is going to be led inside the photo. So this is the natural way that people are going to view a photograph. So you want to kind of bring them in with interest and keep your composition in this kind of a shape. So I might move it over this way a little bit and see how now this becomes a more pleasing composition by using the golden rule. And of course, if we hit the O key, we go back to the rule of thirds again. All right, so get ready for tip number six. I'm also gonna give you a bonus tip number seven after this one. So for number six, we're gonna look at a preset. So that means that once you've gone to all this work and you've created all those settings for your crop, you don't have to go in and enter it again and again and again. You can save it and just use it. So let's do our Instagram. So we're going to go into our crop tool. So we're going to go here, we're going to choose ratio. And we've got our four by five, just put that in if it's not showing. And then to save it, all we need to do is just go on here, go all the way down. And we're going to create a new crop preset. And I'm just going to type in Instagram, click OK. And now that's saved as a preset. We go back into our crop tool now. All we need to do is just select Instagram from the drop down and we're instantly going to go there. Okay, so I said I was going to give you a bonus seventh tip. And that seventh tip is when you're working inside of an image, maybe a composite, and you've got a lot of different layers and you are working with non destructive cropping or you're dropping in images and compositing them on top of each other. They are actually going beyond what you can see. If you want to reduce the file size, set the crop tool to your boundaries and then hit crop with the delete pixels turned on and it will get rid of all the stuff outside of the canvas and greatly reduce your file size when you're compositing. So I've got a question for you guys. What is your favorite social media platform? Let me know in the comments underneath. By the way, check me out at Photoshop Cafe on Instagram. So if you like this tutorial, smash that like button into dust. And if you like these kind of tutorials, why don't you join us in becoming a subscriber? All you need to do is hit that subscribe button right now and also ring that little notification bell and then you'll know whenever I upload a new tutorial, which is once a week. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe. Mm -hmm.